want to welcome you to our second annual Family Literacy Night. Uh, we hope you find the activities very fun and valuable this evening. Over the last probably five years, we've lost about $40,000 from our Title I federal grant, um, which is basically giving us the inability to put books in our kids' hands. We do a really good job with what we have, um, but that's just keeping us afloat. We simply put out an all call and said, how would you use $200? As a teacher, free things are awesome. So I'm like, well, OK, all I had to do is fill out this application. The response from across the state was overwhelming, but then we just kept seeing more and more of these responses come in from Genoa Education Association. We have, I believe, 32 elementary teachers, and if I'm not mistaken, 28 of them um, uh, wrote a proposal for this grant. We said, how can we choose you know, two or three of them to give a grant to? Let's see what we can do to fund something for all of them. First Book and OFT and AFT said, you know what, we're going to do something a little special, and they awarded us with a huge grant. I um, got a little teary-eyed and just knew how big $15,000 is. It got us upwards to 5,000 books. We have about 600 students in our building, which is pre-K to five, and so that's like three to five books a child, um, and that, that's very impactful. We have such a variety of books that we were able to bring in. I spent a lot of my money on the nonfiction textbooks. There was a lot of awesome just packs of books so we could get a wide variety. Now the kids are creating a Google slideshow and they're inserting photos of text features as they find them to better learn about science and social studies and to tie all those standards together. So in counseling, social stories are so super important because we learn about these skills and we're teaching them these skills, but when they're able to visualize it and see a character um, and see the story play out with the skills that we're teaching, they're able to empathize with the characters um, and it's a lot more powerful than without him. So. I think that having access to these books have, has helped me so much as a teacher. Um, I was excited to try to get some multicultural books. We are here in Genoa, a rural community where we don't have a lot of multicultural diversity, and I want the children to see and accept and understand how many different things are out there. The first thing that came to my mind was STEM books, books that I could use with my kids to get them engaged and active and really hands-on. And these give us great ideas and great tools to use. And then they're also working in teams and group work, so it's building their social skills. I didn't think I was going to get, um, get anything, especially as a nurse. I said, are you sure I can do this too? Um, but there really is so many benefits to me having these books for these kids in here. I mean, anything from hand washing to dental care to um, disease prevention. There's just so much I can do with all these books um, uh, to help me, you know, kind of be more proactive with these kids instead of just sending them home or giving them their medication. I wish you would have seen their faces when I just showed them our new books and they already were like, well, we already have some and those are going to go perfect and I know where they can go in your libraries. Getting books in these kids' hands is so important, especially for those students who don't have their home library or don't have a book to their name. If I wouldn't have gotten this grant, I definitely would have pocketed it myself and I do spend quite a bit on books because I want to make sure that they're up to date and they're engaging. As a state union, we often struggle with how do we reach out to our rank and file members. We see the members in leadership often, we see the people who come to our convention, but we don't always have that connection with the people who are in the classrooms on a daily basis. And First Book, and this grant through AFT and First Book gave us the opportunity to reach different members than what we've reached before. This is actually my second year being a member of the union. Um, I did little education jobs or private school jobs before this, so this was kind of eye-opening, just, um, but I've learned a lot about what union is and working together and everyone having the best interest in mind. A lot of times union gets a, a bad rap of, oh, it's so political and it's about this and that, but really it's not. It's about supporting teachers, it's about supporting our students, and it's about getting us these resources that our state has not given us the funding for. 
there's something wrong with what's happening in our state. We shouldn't be dependent upon grants to be able to buy books for students. The union is stepping up and filling that gap. This really was a, a magical moment for us as a union.